Today we are going to discuss about the evolution of the public administration. We will talk about how the concept of the public administration evolved over time. First we will start with the core concept of our constitution which is the basis for the public administration in India. So the core concept, the fundamental rights and the principle that forms the policies of the government are based on the security of the person. No person shall be deprived of life or liberty except in accordance with the constitutional laws and the provision. No government can make any arbitrary law which can deprive life and liberty of a person. Safeguard is to arrest in detention. No person who is arrested shall be detained in custody without being informed as soon as may on the ground of such arrest and not shall be denied the right to consult and defend by legal professionals. So any person who is arrested by the police personnel, he will have safeguard, fundamental right to have his defend, to present his defend under the judiciary. Slavery, forced labor, etc. has been prohibited under our constitution. Slavery is non-existent and forbidden through the constitution of India and no law shall be permit or facilitate its introduction into India in any forms like bonded labor, any form it won't be tolerated. Inviolability of the dignity of man. The dignity of man and women must be protected by law. The privacy of the home shall be inviolable and we have just passed the privacy, the right to privacy and so in India. Freedom of movement. It means that every citizen shall have the right to remain in and subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in public interest, enter and move freely throughout the India, any state, any territory of India without any. But for moving outside country, we need passport and visa. But within country, we don't need any such permit. We can freely move around any part of the country. Freedom of assembly. Every citizen shall have the right to assemble peacefully and without arms, subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the interest of the public order. So if the government feels that the assembly of the people can lead to some violence, then they might impose some restrictions. Otherwise, the people of citizens of the India are free to assemble, associate and form any association and express their views freedom of association every citizen shall have the right to form associations or union subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the interest of the government in the interest of the country freedom of trade business and profession Subject to such qualifications, if any, may be prescribed by law, every citizen shall have the right to enter into any lawful profession or occupation and to conduct any lawful trade or business. So if you want to be a doctor, then there might be some restrictions that you must have some MBBS degree. You might have a MD, BTS and other Ayurveda degree. So there might be some minimum qualification that might be some restrictions can be imposed by the government. Freedom of speech. Every citizen shall have the right to freedom of speech and expression and they shall be free to the place. There might be some reasonable restriction by the government in the interest of the country. So every person will have freedom of speech, but they should have 
they should maintain public order decency and morality while expressing their free freedom of the speech and expression freedom to profess religion or manage religious institution subject to law public order and morality every citizen shall have the right to profess practice and propagate his religion every religious denomination and every sect thereof shall have the right to establish maintain and manage their religious institution safeguard against taxation for the purpose of any particular religion no person shall be compelled to pay any special tax to the proceed of which are to be spent on the propagation or maintenance of any religious institution safeguard to the educational institution in respect of religion no person attending any educational institution shall be required to receive religious instructions or education which might be related to religious ceremony attend religious worship if such instruction ceremony of worship relates to a religion other than his own shall be prohibited under the government law of the land equality of citizen all citizens are equal before law and are entitled to equal protection of by law there shall be no discrimination based on the race sex caste creed and any other physical social distinction no discrimination in respect of access to public places in respect of access to places of the public entertainment resort not intended for religious purpose only there shall be no discrimination against any citizen on the ground only of race religion caste sex residence or place of birth factors affecting public agency the way democracy functions in the political tradition of a country have important influence on the working of the public organization this is this is the interplay of the different like public administration will be governed by political system social system economic system and international system also through the united nations evolution of public administration one of the definition of the public administration is that public administration is about management of the public programs and policies the evolution of public administration management is discussed in through different schools these are the streams of the thought or uh, by different scholars so there will be classical school human relation school behavioral school system school management science school power politics school so classical school under this we will examine the work of the classical school and see the theory related to this and uh, most of the main contributor in this school of the thought were Woodrow Wilson, Leonard the White, W. F. Willowsley, Frederick Wilson, Henry I. Grant, Frank and Lillian Gilbert, Max Weber, Henry Fiol. The growth of the public administration had to do with the growth of the market and the fallout of the market in perfections. Example of market in for imperfection is pollution that is market produce goods and market would not care if in the production of the good they pollute environment for example a manufacturer who emits a smoke will pollute the environment environment if get polluted will affect the health of the people who is responsible for the situation government intervene to correct market imperfections and may tax the polluter so you will find that there is a regulator, the government, public administration has a regulator role. 
the institution of the government therefore shall be effective to control market imperfections similarly if private school charge more fee then government would open a school for those who cannot afford the fee Uni united state of the america the first essay was on the study of administration 1887 written by woodrow wilson which forms the basis of the public administration it addressed the inefficiency and corruption in the united state it said that political scientists had given little attention to how government operates it was impressed by the business industry and technology he believed that the work of the government shall be accomplished with the efficiency of private sector he believed that there would be separation of politics from administration another good article appeared was introduction to the study of public administration by leonard de white in this paper the author commented that government should function in the context of democratic values according to him there was two concern of the public administration efficiency to improve the functioning of the government organization and democratic values that organization would keep in view the democratic values providing the government